Kumari Sankar, a 34-year-old mother of three, is claiming that her newborn baby boy was starved of oxygen for five minutes, which led to his death. An autopsy report revealed that baby Simeon died on January 18th as a result of perinatal asphyxia, neonatal respiratory distress, and multi-organ failure. Perinatal asphyxia is caused by a lack of oxygen, while respiratory distress syndrome happens when a baby's lungs are not fully developed and cannot provide enough oxygen, causing breathing difficulties. During a telephone interview with the newsroom on Monday, Sankar said during her prenatal clinic visit, she was referred by a doctor to the hospital due to her high blood pressure. The referral letter seen by the newsroom stated that labor should be induced on January 15th, even though her due date was not until January 21st, 2022. So I went exactly as they told me. And when I go there, Friday, Friday morning, the doctor at Lenore told me to go. When I go early, they admit me. But when the doctor come up to visit, the doctor said they don't induce labor on weekends. So I was like, so if 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 it's if 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 the clinic send me there for it has to be like urgently, right? Because the people have it on it. On January 16th, Sankar said doctors began the process of inducing labor by inserting half of a tablet. This, she explained, was to help her dilate and every four hours, healthcare professionals examined her to check the progress. Sankar explained that during her fourth checkup, she was told that she was not dilating and instead would have to do a C-section. For the fourth time when I go in back the room for the exam me, the doctor there tell me that, um, that I'm not dilating, so I'll have to sign up for C-sec, right? So I said, no problem, as long as my baby is safe and I'm safe, right? Mm -hmm. um, by 12 o'clock tonight, the doctor told me, he said, don't eat or drink nothing because I'm going in for C-sec in the morning. It's Monday morning. Sankar claimed that she was put on an IV and given saline. She was then told she would have to deliver her baby normal since she already delivered three children. I said, I can't make it normal. I me here, but I said, yeah, tell me how to give me the C-sec. Right, I already done, agree, I done fast the night before. I said, what happened? The doctor that doing the C-sec now, he told me, I have three kids and I put out, push out the other one. I said, yes, I, I know I could do it, but this drip say, just making me feel like I don't have any breath left in me. She recalled that after the baby came out, he did not cry and was not breathing and doctors had to resuscitate him. Sankar said she was told that the child was starved of oxygen for five minutes. They, they had to tell her, I don't know if they got oxygen or not, but they didn't put no oxygen on me or on the baby. Right? So, um... She, the, the baby doctor told her, and she said, because of the five minutes the baby didn't get oxygen, even though he survived, that he would be like a vegetable. Like all vegetables out there, even though he survived, that they got to transfer him to Georgetown Hospital. On the afternoon, I tell my husband, I said, go over Georgetown and check. And he go, he find the baby and everything. They had on the life support on him. But it was 50 50 chance he's after them said it. Choosing morning, I got this child, and from this hospital, I go over straight over to Georgetown. Only to go and hear that my baby passed away 12 25 the night. The baby would have been her fourth child and third son. They should listen to mothers, you know, because we know our feelings. I know my feelings. I know something was up with my baby when I start to cry and beg to be sick. You know, I know. I carry him in me for nine months and they don't want to hear anything. They are still their right. Meanwhile, when contacted by the newsroom, Regional Health Officer Dr. Erica Fort did not wish to comment on the matter. The newsroom was, however, informed by hospital sources that Sankar's delivery was not high risk and that doctors suspected the baby was born with congenital abnormalities. The newsroom was also informed that the Ministry of Health has asked for a report on the matter.